Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this is actually the sixth time that I've been out trying to vlog um, since there's been like not to lose some cloud and the summer months and um, it, it never really gets to actual proper astro darkness for the months of from sort of halfway through May all the way to August really. So I have been out, I've been trying to shoot and I've ended up just really frustrated each time but I'm, ha I'm out now. Um, hopefully I'll get something tonight. Can't see any not to lose some cloud. I'm at a place called Wayne Waith Force, uh, which is um, a little waterfall, you can probably hear it, in Richmond. And um, yeah, so I've got a plan for tonight, and the plan for tonight is to go and do a pano of the waterfall. Uh, I have shot it before, I was here like two years ago, um, and I've been wanting to come back since. Um, so yeah, shoot, shoot the shot of the waterfall, little pano, and then I'm gonna drive back up to the top of the hill and um, shoot some Milky Way, and then hopefully I can make a composite. That's the plan anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just not been that dark recently, which is which is why I've not been able to finish any videos, which is why I've not been uploading. But um, a fair few bits, I've bought some new gear um, since the last one, and that I've got a I've got a star tracker now, which is what I'm going to be using to shoot the Milky Way of later, hopefully. And I've had my A7 III Astro modified, so it, it's all new, lots of learning. Um, hopefully, I bring you along for the ride while I learn how to edit and things like that with an Astro modded uh, camera. Right, so that's it, let's get on. Let's walk over to the waterfall, get some shots. When I was last here, I was getting bit to shit by midges and they're already starting again now. And because I'm a genius, I've come in shorts. Right, well, that is definitely not flowing as much as it was last time I was here. But let's give it a try anyway. The midges are starting to bite. I'm just gonna take some shots and go. So I'm gonna get a pano of the waterfall now. Right, that is me done. I, I hope that the shots that I got are okay because I'm having to give up on being <laughs> bitten alive. Um, I got a, a landscape 12 shots and a portrait 5 shots pano and hopefully that'll, it'll, that'll work. Uh, I can see the big dipper up there dip, dipping away and uh, I've overexposed the sky a bit but I know that I'm going to sky replace it, so I'm hoping that'll be all right. But let's get back to the car, and then I'm going to head back up the hill and wait until it's a bit darker, because it's still quite light now. It's just gone midnight. Well, I can't believe how much milk I'm getting there, considering this much light, so I'm gonna go and set the tracker up. Get shooting. That's ISS. Unfortunately, I can't show you the setup because I mean, I've gotta use the camera. But, there we go. It's so cool. It's amazing to see the Milky Way again after two months of not being able to see it. So I'm really happy to see it. So I've just done tracked um, 10 two minute exposures on the 20 mil. I'm gonna switch over to the 85 now and do a few shots. Um, and then, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna stack those uh, 10 and hopefully get a lot of detail. Uh, we shall see. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So that was six shots on the 85 that I'm also going to stack. They look amazing on the back of the camera. I cannot wait to get home and get them into the computer see so what they look like. Um, getting the trackers, like giving all my lenses a new lease of life because I can now get much longer exposures that I could never get before. Yeah, it's all made it all really exciting again. Right, I am going to head home, but just before I go, I'm going to go and get some shots of the foreground here seeing as I'm near Tanhill Inn. The rock's pretty cool. Like that didn't work. Uh, there's campus down there and there's light from the pub, so I couldn't get any shots of the rocks, but that was really cool. Anyway, uh, right, I'm gonna head home and the video will either end here or so there'll be another after this. Um, we're going to the Elam Valley in Wales tomorrow, so get some more milk, should be awesome.
So this is the following day after the, uh, the last video finished. So I've had three hours sleep and I've just driven four hours and I'm now in Wales, Elon, Elon Valley. And uh, it's supposed to be dark here, so I'm expecting some really good Milky Way tonight. So that's the plan anyway, just to get some shots of the dam and then get some track Milky Way again and see if I can stitch them together. Should be good. That's the moon there looking pretty good. Um, it's a half moon, but it goes down at like midnight tonight, so it's still gonna be really dark, can't wait. But I might as well shoot the moon a little bit while I'm here. So that's the Milky Way popping out behind. Um, there's not been a whole lot to vlog really because all we've really done is just stand here uh, in front of the uh, in front of the dam and taken a couple panos while it's in blue hour. But yeah, Milky Way is just coming out behind me and the moon is just setting over there. And then it's time to get the star tracker out. So um, I'm with a new astro buddy called Jordan and I'll, uh, I'll drop his Instagram down below. You should look at it, it he's really good. Um, yeah, so it's time to start tracking. What I'm gonna do is, yeah, try, I was doing two minute exposures last night, I'm gonna try some three minute exposures, see if I can get some crazy detail on this Milky Way. So then that ends what was an absolutely epic weekend of uh, shooting Milky Way. Uh, I got seven hours sleep across those two nights uh, so I'm absolutely knackered now um, be an early one tonight. But, but yeah, what can I say, like, in terms of getting the tracker, it, it has just completely like leveled up my Milky Way shooting, uh, which obviously as I expected it would, but yeah, between the tracker and between the Astro Modified camera, um, it's just my images are just totally different to how they used to be uh, still a lot of learning to do in terms of the um, the editing and things like that but uh, I will definitely be doing more videos on on editing on the tracker on the modded camera and all that kind of stuff so uh, that's it for the video thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it and I'll hopefully see you again soon take care